Number one, strike through text. To get strike through text, use two of these tilde or squiggly characters. Send your message and then add two more tildes. As you can see here, we now have strike through text. Number two, quoted text. To get quoted text, use the greater than symbol, add a space and then send your message. Number three, single line code block. To get the single line code block, simply use a backtick, not an apostrophe, but a backtick. Then put your message and add another backtick. We'll have a little single line code block, as you can see here. Number four, spoilers. To get spoilers, use two of the straight bar symbols, add your message and send two more bars. Upon clicking on this little message, we'll have a little pop out indicating a spoiler. Pro tip, spoiler images. If we take an image, for instance, a mini screenshot of what I'm doing right now, and in the bottom left of the image, we press the Marcus spoiler button and then upload it. As you can see here, it'll become a spoiler image, which will only reveal itself once it's clicked on. Number five, bolding. To get bolded text, use two asterisks, send your message and add two more. We'll have some bolded text as you can see here. Quick pause, I want to make more videos like this without excessive one minute intros, but in order to do that, I do need your support. So make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. On with the video. Number six, italicizing. To get italicized text, use one asterisk, send your message and add another asterisk. Number seven, underline text. To get underlined text, use two underscore characters, send your message, and add two more underscores. We'll have some underlined text, as you can see here. Pro tip, combine underlining, italicizing, and bolding into one message to get some cool text formats. Number eight, block quotes. Let's say we want to add a quote to a multi-line message. Well, it's pretty simple. We can have three different lines or as many lines as you would want, and then add simply three greater than symbols in conjunction, add a space, and as you can see, we now have a block quote. Number nine, multi-line code blocks. Use three back ticks, add an enter, enter some message that you want, and then add three more back ticks. We can have our message as long as we want, as long as it doesn't exceed the character limit. And upon pressing the enter button, we'll have this multi-line code block as you can see here. Number 10, invisible message. If you want to send a blank message or invisible message, all you have to do is add an underscore, a space, and then another underscore. You'll have an invisible message sent like this. Number 11, red text. To get colored text red, all you have to do is use our multi-line code block. As you can see here, add three back ticks, and then you use the characters D-I-F-F. Upon sending a message preceded by our little dash right here, we'll have red text that appears in the Discord client. Number 12, orange red text. To get orange red text, we're going to use another code block, but this time use the letters CSS. If we surround our message with these square brackets, as you can see here, it'll turn an orangish red color. Number 13, yellow text. To get yellow text, we're gonna use our three back ticks and then F-I-X. Send our message right here, and as you can see, we'll have this orangish yellow text. Number 14, dark yellow text. To get dark yellow text, we're going to use a multi-line code block just like we've been doing before, but this time we're going to wrap our messages by using underscores. As you can see here, if we use the underscore characters, we'll be able to get this darkish orange color. Number 15, blue text. To get blue text, we can again use the CSS syntax, but this time we're going to precede our message by using a single dot at the beginning of it. Then when we send our message, we can add underscores to get this blue text. Number 16, if you didn't like to have to use the underscores, no problem. We can use the I and I syntax, as you can see here, and surround our message with these square brackets. Again, we'll now have blue text. Number 17, ASCII doc syntax or blue text. For this one, all we have to use is ASCII doc. And when we send our message, as you can see here, all we have to do is add two dashes at the end of it. 
Then when we end our message, we'll have some blue text. The only thing is at the very bottom, we'll have these two little dashes or hyphens. Number 18, green text. To get green text, we're again going to use the diff syntax, but this time add a plus at the beginning of it. And as you can see here, we now have this greenish yellowish color. Number 18, dark green text. To get dark green text, we can use the bash syntax, as you can see here, and then surround our message by using double quotes. On sending our message, we'll have this darkish green text. Number 19 is embeds. Now, embeds are really interesting because you'll typically see them being sent by bots or by webhooks. Now, how can we make a user send an embed? Well, to do that, you can make the use of this embed generator tool, as you can see over here. First, you select the domain for the link that you'll want, the author text, which will appear in the author field of the embed, the title field, the description field, a color for the sidebar. You can select anything over here using this neat little color picker. Then you can specify an image. I've just chose a random image online. You can even specify a redirect URL, and then you can press the generate button. I'll have the link to this tool in the description below. Upon sending the embed, you'll see it pop up in the client over here. Now, while being so awesome, this embed generator does come with a little bit of a concern as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, bots and webhooks are typically the things that will send embeds. So if you see a user sending an embed, it gets a little bit iffy. So I'd strongly recommend that you don't openly send this link in public Discord servers as people might mistake you for a bot and it could lead you to getting banned from the server. So if you're just experimenting with this, feel free to. However, I wouldn't recommend going around and publicly sending this in the case that you get mistaken for a bot. And I'd also like to point out a thanks to the developer for letting me showcase this website and showcase this awesome tool. So consider supporting them and checking out their Discord server, which will be in the description below. Last but not least, we have number 20, which is editing in the middle of a message. Now, this is a pretty strange trick. And as you can see over here, I have the edited indicator straight up in the middle of the message. So how can you do this? Well, in the description below, I'll have the link to this right to left embedding character. Press the copy button to copy this into your clipboard. Then on Discord, send a message, and then press the edit icon. And when you edit it, in the middle of the message or wherever you want, paste this character and press enter. The edited indicator will appear in the middle of the message, as you can see here.